This video is sponsored by AppMaker. AppMaker is a WordPress plugin that converts WooCommerce websites to mobile apps. The mobile app builder helps you create native Android and iOS application. Get 30% off on being first 200 sign-ups. Get the link from description. Hello everyone, welcome to the new video of Educate WordPress. On this channel, we talk all about WordPress. And in this video, we will be discussing a plugin called Paid Membership Pro. This plugin is used to add membership feature to your WordPress store or any page you want. For example, I have a WordPress website called Store and I want to add a membership feature to provide special discount to my customers so i can use this plugin to do that for that i'll go to plugin and click on add new and search for paid membership pro and after that click on install then click on activate after activation, you will see a membership tab in your left side window. Click on it. And here I can set up and configure my paid membership pro. So either I can buy a support license and by clicking view plans and pricing, you can see the pricing. It has standard plus builder and free. So I will be using free. You can either join this by clicking on join for free or you can just use it simply without entering any license key so moving on next next thing on this is view membership levels so either you can create or view your created membership levels so previously i have created already a membership level called entry it's a free membership level and it has no expiration and it allows sign ups so you can create a new one by clicking on add new and then you can choose which type of membership you want to create. So I'll be choosing this time monthly. And here I can name it. I'll name it monthly. And here I can add a description and a confirmation message that will be sent. I can either type it here and then click on this to include this in the email that will be sent as confirmation so and after that i can add a billing detail so it's showing me in dollars i can change this by going into payment gateway and itself and then on currency option i can choose whichever currency i want from this drop down menu so i'll choose indian rupee and we'll click on save settings So when I get back to levels, click on add new level. And type in on the things again. And now I can see that uh, the option has changed to INR. So I can choose the initial payment. So I can choose it to be 100 rupees. And I will choose it as recurring subscription. So I have to check this box. And after that, I can choose the amount. So after 100 rupees, I can demand a 50 rupee every one cycle. And I can choose the cycle as one year or one month, one week, one day. So it's a monthly. So I will choose as month. And you can leave this as blank if you. Do not want to specify the cycle limit or if you want to end it after one month two month three month then you can type in here so i leave it blank and you can provide the custom trial date also so a trial billing amount will be uh, anything less than under like 20 rupees and for first one month 
so i can customize expiration settings also so membership expiration i can choose whether to expire this membership or not so if i check it it will ask me for the date or months after which it will expire so i'll uncheck it for now i can choose the content setting i can hide the content from the non membership members so it either i can hide it by using category or single post i can add them or other content types like products event product uh, communities podcast extra and this is the other second disable new sign up so i'll just leave it unchecked because i want new sign ups to appear here and i can just click on save level so it will show up in my membership levels as monthly So I'll delete one of these. I can edit it whenever I want, just by clicking it here. And next thing is discount codes. If you want to provide discount codes when the uh, user is buying a subscription plan. so i can create a new discount code also so i can choose which one of these will this code apply to so i'll choose it as monthly so whatever i type in here will rewrite the monthly subscription plan so if he has a code i can choose the initial payment to be 80 like this and the recurring billing amount to be 40 and then trial to be 20 for 3 months like this i can save it and then it will override the monthly subscription plan if he or she has the code and i can then click on save code so this is how discount codes work the next thing is pages the different pages for membership account holders which is account page billing information page cancel page all these pages are automatically created or you can either choose these short coded to include on your pages if you do not want it to be automatically created or if you are using a different design or a different page builder and you want to show these information at a specific place then you can use these short codes so i am using the default ones next thing is payment gateway and ssl so in this you can set up the payment gateway for starter uh, you can use sandbox testing and after that you can click on drive and production when your site is live and you have set up all the membership details so you can choose all of these you can choose the currency here as i have shown before you can accept the other cards and you have to check with your payment methods also whether they accept these or or not and you can apply sale tax and all the settings from your post and after that there's an email setting so it have add ons with mailchimp also which is free and then comes email templates then user fields you can choose a template in which the email will be sent and these are the general templates and next is user fields here you can see the group name or change description and everything else and next to advanced in advanced setting you can choose not to show the dashboard or the toolbar to the subscriber role for from accessing these and you can choose a message for logged in members and message for logged out members these are all the codes that we have seen before
so this level will show the level they are subscribed for and this is the content settings then the checkout settings and the communication settings and other settings as well you can choose to not send email frequency to never so that the membership plugin will not send any email to the user or you can choose how frequently it can send and hide ad from member you can either click it as hide ad from all members so you have to include this function before your ad file ad code so it will check if the pmp pro display ads is on or not and after that it will show up the ad this is how this logic works uh, you can set it to no always and you can set this to yes if you want to delete all the data from the database when you uninstall the pmp pro so this is the basic settings you can leave it for default also and the next thing is add-ons so paid membership pro provides a large number of add-ons for free like if i want a woocommerce add-on i can get it for free i can just click on activate and it will integrate with the woocommerce as you can see it is showing me activated and now on the dashboard what i can do we will go to view membership levels and for my monthly subscribers who have subscribed for my monthly plan i can choose a specific discount like i can give a discount of 20 percent on every order so if i click on save level I have already discounted the entry level subscriber with 50% discount so I will take it to like 2% discount or so because it's free and click on save level and after that as you can see these are these are the products and these are their prices so to show you how it works I'll open it in a new window and then i can go to membership and click on account so here i can see my level which is not active and then i can renew now click on renew now if a new member comes in he can register for it so i will just click on renew now and click on submit and confirm so this will select the entry level for me and it will show up here so now i can see my membership account so this is showing me an entry level billing is free and expiration so when i go back to my product page and refresh it the all the products will have a discount as i have specified here for entry level which was 2% I can see all membership option by clicking on this and I will see and under now and then 54 per month so I can select this monthly membership also to increase my level and after that it will ask me for my billing address or show because it's a paid plan not a free one and after that i can click on submit and check out after entering all these so here i can we can see that it's asking for a discount code so if i write uh, the discount code here i'll just copy it this one and then paste it here 
and then click on apply then it will rewrite all those sizing so i have chosen 80 pricing for now and then 40 per month and i can even choose the trial period at 20 rupees for three months so this is how it will rewrite my existing monthly membership which was this hundred rupees and fifty per month and for first month it is free thank you for watching hit the like button if you like this video and subscribe to educate wordpress